One night last summer, two of my friends, Sam and Jake, convinced me to sneak out with them and drink. We were all bored, just looking for something to do. We decided to go for a walk to a local gas station that was open 24 hours a day. The walk there was pretty uneventful. We talked about random topics and drank a couple of beers. Once we got to the gas station, Jake had to use the bathroom. When he was in the bathroom, there was a dirty, sketchy guy in there. Jake struck up a conversation with this guy. It was pretty normal except when the guy asked why he was out so late and if he was by himself. Jake brushed it off as the guy was just trying to tell him to stay safe. We bought some snacks and we noticed the guy following us around while he was talking to someone on his phone. We left soon after and on the way back, we sat on the side of the road and talked for a while as we drank some more. It was pitch black by now because there are no street lights in the area. We saw a car coming down the road, which was no big deal. We sneak out pretty often and we've never had any real problems. Cars usually just drive by. This time was different. The car spun around in the road and pulled up right next to us on the street and two guys got out. We ditched the beers, got up and sprinted down the street. Jake and I hid behind an RV while Sam hopped a fence. The two men looked dirty, like they hadn't showered in days. We watched the two guys for a little while, which is when we noticed that one of them had a gun in his hand. They looked in our direction for a few minutes before they got back into their car and drove off. Jake and I looked for Sam, but we couldn't find him, so we decided to head back home. We thought we had lost them, but on the way back we turned a corner and those same guys were sitting in the car, waiting there. We ran through the alleyways and backyards until we lost them. Every few minutes, we saw the car driving slowly down a street or alleyway in the distance, and we would hide. Eventually, we made it back, and Sam messaged to tell us that he got followed by a different car, but he made it home safe. It's been almost a year since that night. We're always more cautious when we go out, and Sam still has nightmares about being abducted. I don't know for sure if the guy from the bathroom had anything to do with it, but we believe that he's somehow connected to it. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description.